Last night we told you they were coming. Today they arrived. Changes to Southwest Airlines. Today the airline announced there will be fewer flights out of the Sunport, and the city is taking a financial hit. As Nancy Laughlin reports, those flights include some very popular destinations, and travelers aren't happy. Well, today Southwest announced, and the city confirmed there will be fewer flights to places like Phoenix, Dallas, and Las Vegas. It was something city leaders, Sunport officials, and travelers had been bracing for. The state's most popular airlines cutting flights out of New Mexico. I'm a little disappointed, actually, because they're a great provider of air service from this region. The city says five daily flights are gone for good. Three to Dallas, one to Phoenix, and one to Las Vegas. And depending on travel season, the airline could cut up to 11 flights out of the Sunport. All this kicked in after the feds no longer mandated Southwest stop in Albuquerque on its way to other popular destinations. I just use Southwest all the time because United has fewer flights as well. It's just going to make it harder for us. And that's really sad being from New Mexico with our tourism industry. I feel like uh, Southwest has been a big plus. But city leaders are quick to point out Southwest will still fly to those hot spots, just not as often. And the mayor trying to put a positive spin on this, saying it could end up being more convenient for locals. Now the planes that will be embarking from Albuquerque, uh, I've been told, have a, you know, some of them have a good possibility of having additional seats. But fewer flights also means fewer dollars coming into the Sunport. Southwest makes up 58% of Sunport's traffic, and now the airline won't be paying as much in landing fees. We are going to be losing a little bit of revenue, not nearly as much as <clears throat> we had forecast. A Southwest spokesman promises the airline that made its name on flying for peanuts won't jack up prices. Now, the aviation director says they were actually afraid the airline would cut even more flights, meaning more lost revenue for the Sunport. They were bracing for a 6% loss in landing fees. Now, they say it'll end up being about 4%. I ask what that translates to dollar wise. The city is trying to come up with that number. City officials say even though Southwest is cutting flights out of Albuquerque, they claim Alaska Air and JetBlue offer more options for travelers. And at KOT.com, we have put together a list of some tips and tricks to try and get a flight for less. For example, weigh your bag at home before finding out it's going to cost you extra and check flight prices often. For more helpful ideas, look at the feature section on the left side of our homepage. A woman says the